So I clicked to Chen. The guy's got boots, radiance, and it's like, oh, surely, surely, ladies and gentlemen, this has got to be the strangest thing that this man is currently doing. Radiance Chen, it doesn't get stranger than that. Nope. He is hoarding hill troll priests and spam healing his team with them. So, if you thought the Radiance was weird, that's not the half of it. He's helping his spirit breaker. <laughs> Look! Oh my god! Hello, YouTube. Welcome back, everybody, to another Herald replay review. This one was submitted by Effective Dig, who assures me this was a completely ridiculous game. 40 MMR, it looks like, or is, is what he said. So, let's, let's give it a gander. Oh. This guy's named Zombie. Uh, maybe that's his excuse. And we'll see, uh, we'll see if he, there he goes, I see, okay, he's going out now, very nice, no items whatsoever, he doesn't, <laughs> okay, he's got to buy items, that's, I mean, is there, is he saving? He, so he's waiting in Fountain, he's AFK, he comes back, and he's like, you know what, not enough time. Not enough time to get items. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> this guy has no items either. Why? Why are there two people without items? Already? Are you kidding me? Is it only two? No, wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> this is Luna Mid. Dazzle Carry. Uh, okay. And then offline, I don't know who's even offlaning because ni neither of them have any items. This guy's got Tango Fairy Fire. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Who's bot with Wyvern? There's three top. They're, tr they're ag aggressive tri-laning Winter Wyvern Carry. I see. Okay. I okay. Holy shit, Sniper sent a ward. Okay. So I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was I was expecting something slightly more eventful. This is kind of just like, he just walks in and fights the Dazzle to the death, who's just running away. <laughs> like, that is the easiest first blood that the Dyer has ever achieved and will ever achieve. <laughs> he just walked at them. Just slowly walked at them until he died. What? He bought another one. Is he just, does he just chain by wards because they're free? And so he's like, well, nobody uses these anyway, so I'm going to use them. I mean, if nobody's buying wards, that's a, that's solid, solid reasoning and, you know, deduction. Where does he place them though? I'm just baffled by the fact that this guy is chain buying the wards off cooldown. That's what he's doing with his life. That's what he's spending his brain power doing. And yet, he has double the CS of the next guy in the game, and he's solo killing the guy that's laning against him. This man started with Ring of Regen on Sniper Mid. He's buying out all of the wards and not placing them, and he's owning. Like, I legit, this is like that troll game where I just, I just want to watch this guy. Don't tell me. Oh, come on. No. How is he killing people? How 
How is he killing people? He's not doing anything. This is very strange. What is he doing? Ah, yes, bounty runes. We need to get... Oh, he's got a third ward. <laughs> he's just... Imagine being a pause five in this game, and you're like, where the fuck are my wards? There's no... The carry's like... Carry BH is like, dude, there's no vision on the map. My five is so bad. Like, why is my shitty Winter Wyvern sitting here stealing CS from me? First my Tidehunter, now my Winter Wyvern stealing CS from me, and I don't have any fucking vision! No! Oh, God. Wait, what is this creep? Does he... Oh, is this a Chen creep? So Chen is like... Chen is healing him? He's putting a creep mid and healing him? Giving him the mana aura? That... So starting at 941, he goes completely AFK with the main hero, which... It's a hard hero to play. I mean, this is what you would expect. It's a really hard hero. He's... This is his hero. Right now, this is Chen... This is what he's spending his time doing. Is that. Because I can tell you, his main hero was literally just standing there. So this... This is his gameplay. Let's look at his player perspective. Yeah. Let's see, what else do we got here? Uh, Luna, not so bad of a build. Uh, of course. Uh, Chen has his sacred 18-minute mil uh, sacred relic. That That's very good. <laughs> okay, what, what, is, what does Chen have? <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe there's like too much happening. There's too much happening in like a short window of time. So I clicked to Chen. The guy's got Boots Radiance and it's like, oh, surely, surely, ladies and gentlemen, this has got to be the strangest thing that this man is currently doing. Radiance Chen, it doesn't get stranger than that. Nope. He is a hoarding hill troll priests and spam healing his team with them. So, if you thought the Radiance was weird, that's not the half of it. Like, he's just heal bonding his team with Hill Troll Priests. I've never seen anybody do this. Look, he's just helping them farm. He's helping his Spirit Breaker. <laughs> Look! Oh my god! It's so stupid, but so good at the same time. Look! Have you ever seen this? I've never seen this before. And of course, Silencer. The guy that went AFK for about a minute. Uh, was, uh, uh says, weak. To, to Chen, pr presumably. You're really talking shit in this matchup, Lamau. <laughs> what? What do you mean? You should have won this by now. Like, what matchup? What is obvious about this game to anyone? There's nothing that's obvious here. Like, Snipe, what is it? What, what matchup is it? I'm so confused. Solid team fight so far. Wyvern with the save. Spirit Breaker goes for the charge on the backliner. Gets a second charge. Wyvern saving his guy again. Dude, this Wyvern's a good player. This Wyvern is surprisingly... I mean, if he just stopped jungling easy camps, I guess his spell casting is great. BH jumps the backline. Is Wyvern going to save him again? Bro. Okay, Earthshaker, it's a blade mail. Did the blade mail actually just kill Wyvern? Are you serious? Okay. What does Chen have? Uh, he has Shadow Amulet Point Booster. <laughs> oh 
no, why? Why are you obsessed with these creeps? Why? What is it about these that you enjoy so much? Every time I click to him, he's doing something involving these creeps and he's got weird items. Where's his army? I'm curious where his army is. Okay, that's 120 health per second. A am I crazy here? That that's a lot of healing? Like, is is that is that kind of good? I'm not just saying this. I I'm, I'm really like thinking this through, and it's like that's a, quite a lot of regen. I mean, probably better if they're not sitting in fountain and if the Chen doesn't have a fucking radiance. But that's not a bad idea. Oh no, is that why he has the shadow amulet? He's shadow amuleting himself. So that way, when he micros his creeps, his hero doesn't die. That's his solution to what happened in the previous fight where his hero died while he was microing his army of healers. This is genius. This way he can just play the creeps. Yeah, I mean, uh, this... <sighs> There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on here. Let me say that. We haven't seen any of the fighting that's going on, so I do want to watch that. But just, while all of this is happening, simultaneously, this crazy story with the Chen creeps and the Shadow Amulet, and all of this stuff is going on totally separate from the actual gameplay that's happening. And yet... Chen is the one that's all chatting versus the silencer as if he's doing anything <laughs> like oh what a great mix of things this is unironically not a stupid idea it's hilarious but it's not like they stack if it didn't stack it would be so stupid but it's a fountain it's a it's a legit fountain look at the mana regen and in the the hps it's so much healing it's like 100 hps and while this is happening, of course, Sniper's feeding and, and Luna's taking barracks. I mean, I think Chen's the... It's like I called Sniper the protagonist, but Chen is just this spin-off story that's way better. It's like Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Better Call Saul's the spin-off, and it's a way better show. Sorry, uh, Breaking Bad fans, but everybody knows that it's true. Dazzle? Might be able to take this Roche because of the, the Chen army. He's got an Ancient now. Okay. That's why he was stacking the Ancients. So he could choose the Ancient creep that he wants. Oh my god. He wanted... The dinosaur! So he stacked it, and he... Now he gets a golem! Oh my god! So he helps his team take Roche. Dazzle Earthshaker shouldn't normally be able to take Roche, but with the Chen army healing him, healing them, they can. And then the timing is to time the, the, the Ancients with the Radiance so you can stack it in the Shadow Amulet, so you have this timing of Aegis with the healers, Plus, the Ancients with the Chen Eggs. Like, this is a timing. And he's going to have this Ancient Army now to end the game. Oh my god. Immortality. With the Earthshaker Aegis, which of course makes so much sense. So good. Okay, so he's playing the Dragon. He's playing the Dragon in these fights. So we'll just assume that that's, that's exactly what his cameras on it it really has absolutely no contribution other than auras so his team is just winning for him it seems okay yeah there's a zero percent chance that they win now luna just hits ancient and they win luna just hits ancient and they win luna really wants to dive Okay. 
So, our true protagonist, Chen, did literally nothing with his hero. Created the ultimate army of healers. Got a Radiance so that he could stack Ancients with the Shadow Amulet. Hit a huge timing, allowing his team to solo Roche with the healers. And then that led into the perfect timing of the Aghanim Scepter to push high ground. What a legend. There's no way this guy should be Herald. There's a 0% chance it's not a smurf. That this is Eternal Envy smurf. I have a, a couple of friends who are Herald, and I just I know they just don't give a shit about the game, which... It's a video game, you know? It's like, people... Let me get... I'll get a little bit real for a second here. People, like, project their idea of how you should play the game onto everybody else, and it's just, like, it's just like life. It's just like, it's just bullshit. It's like, in the end, games are supposed to be fun. So, if being Herald and vibing is like, what's fun for you? That's the whole point. It's an escape. If like, that's how you escape, that's the whole point of it. So, it's like this like, Dota MMR is all that matters thing. It's such horse shit. It's such horse shit. I'm I'm feeling unranked lately, man. I'm I'm feeling like the the memes, you know. Dota is a game that can be so fun, and I I think it gets lost when like everybody's so hyper competitive. I, I like the competitive nature too. I think I think there's a balance though, and like we are everybody wants to go to TI in this game. I'm 14 and this is cringe. Everything is cringe to me. Fuck those people, man. I hate that.